I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. Check it out. Check it out. All right, we're recording video. Hello. Hello. Welcome to another exciting installment of Mark and I Drive a Car. Yep. Today. Today's car, as mentioned in the intro. We are in a 2012 Ford Flex Titanium. This is loaded to the gills. EcoBoost it engine. It is. Four cylinder though, right? Yes. Turbocharged. Twin yes. turbo. Single turbo? Twin turbo. Twin turbo. Twin turbo. Single turbo. As always, we will be referring to the MSRP sticker, the Moroni, because we know nothing about the car. <laughs> Is that on your side? Yeah. It's on my side. Got a nice white platinum metallic tricoat paint on this. Yep. It's actually like a two tone, too, because it's black. Yeah. So it's got that glass black. It's got, the, got the black on the roof. This is a very polarizing car. You know, people don't like the design, or they really do like the design. I'm sort of in the like it camp. Mark's not a big fan. Um, I don't have a use for it. My dogs are eight pounds, so... Well, that doesn't make it ugly. Yeah, kind of does. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I don't have a use for something, it's ugly. All right, all right, fair enough. <laughs> trying to think what that means you probably think is ugly. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you. Uh, bidets? Are you, are you a fan of bidets? No. No, they're ugly? They're ugly. They're ugly, they're yeah. They're ugly. Hideous. What about high heels? Uh, the ugly, ugly. Because yeah. then most girls are probably taller than me. Well, plus you don't have a use for them. I don't personally know. Exactly. Not. Exactly. Ugly. Very ugly. Well, it is. It is. You know, a love and hate it sort of vehicle. And uh, I, I credit Ford for taking the initiative to uh, do something a little different. You know, it's uh -huh. big. It's roomy. I could be sitting in back, but then you wouldn't hear me. This is. Now this isn't in the same category, but it kind of is as a van, I guess you would, but it's a sedan. It's a minivan. It's a mini micro mega van. No, no. that would be the Mazda 5. Micro? Or the yeah. Ford C-Max, Ford door. Focus C-Max yeah. that I think we're getting in a couple months. Yep. So this is just a sedan. Yeah, I think it's a crossover. <laughs> crossover, maybe. I think technically it's a crossover. It's on the car chassis. But it's great for kids, great for car seats, very wide and deep, I guess you can say. The I like it because I've got elbow room and leg yeah. room and no my head's not car. hitting anything. This, no this is a small car. This is glorious. Yep. I feel very comfortable in this car. My wife has driven one of these before. Yep. And uh, I really appreciated it when she did because it, it gave me, you know, on long trips to, to Vail and stuff, it's got really comfortable seats and uh, it doesn't sit as high or isn't quite as jarring as an SUV. So. Yeah, this one has dual cl climate control. Uh, both front seats have two temperature heated seats, um, navigation, I don't know, what else? The park assist that park we'll assist, uh, be well, demoing a little later just because it amuses us. Yeah, Mark, we, we went ahead and did a little test earlier, sort of some behind the scenes stuff here. And uh, Mark didn't know that he had to brake. <laughs> so when you're doing the Ford Park Assist... It'll braking, turn the wheel, it'll give yeah. you gas, but apparently... It will not slow brake. down for you. So he got... Why, though? Very, very close to my car at a high rate of speed. Eight mile an hour. You were going very quickly it's backwards lease. toward my it's car. It's a lease. Who cares? It's a lease. I do have gap insurance, so <laughs> I would be covered if you ran this into my, the back of my car, in front of my car. I'm sure I could have gotten it fixed. It may put a damper on future test drives that we are doing, though. Because, exactly. yeah, you know, right. management might be a little annoyed. That's okay. You wouldn't be the first one to mess up a car testing the park assist, though. At least when I get out of cars, I make sure to put them in park. Who did that? Um, uh, somebody. <laughs> whose name is I mentioned. Who what happened? What was the result? truck as a demo. It rolled down and hit parked cars. Ah. Yeah, one, so, of our, one of our salesmen, who I also won't name, to, you know, keep him innocent... It was demoing the park assist when it first showed up, and he did the just like he was supposed to. He worked the gas and the brake, and he rolled it right into a curb and scratched the heck out of the wheel. Is he still employed? Uh huh. I don't know this one. Yep, everything was all right. You know, just had to fix the wheel up, but uh, okay. you got to be careful with them. <laughs> Technology's great, although it can sneak up on you. Yep, literally. <laughs> <laughs> sneak Quite up and bite you a little bit. Literally, yeah. yeah. Give you a little love tap. That's okay though. 
so like I said, it's a great ride. It's really quiet. It is. It is. It's a. Uh, it's a big change from the last ones we've been driving. We've gone trucks yeah, a little to bit. small cars <laughs> to green light exotic car. Oh, exotic cars. <laughs> this is now the most useful a, one we've this driven. Is I think as most practical the, as they come. That's right. Practical. That's the word. Pra- like practical as they come. I think. Yep. It so. doesn't have the uh, the push button start yet though that Ford's putting in a lot of its cars. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't know a little why. disappointing. I don't know why, but I can put a remote start on it, so that's good. All right. Speaking but, of keys, you mentioned a couple minutes ago that your girlfriend's keys are like a banker's keys. Yeah, they have lots of keys. Do bankers have a lot of keys? Yeah, safes, drawers, etc. <laughs> stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I would think they would have lots of keys. I couldn't think... A janitor. How about Janitors that? Janitors have lots of keys, okay, usually, yeah. a janitor. I was just trying to figure out why bankers have lots of keys. I always thought bankers have, like, big, like, those zip things. Oh, that's a janitor. I'm thinking of the wrong profession. Yeah, you really are. A banker usually wears, like, a three-piece suit and a monocle and a little I watch I feel like they chain. have... They have... No. False. They have the little wristband thing, which Britt also has, <laughs> that you put on your stretchy, arm. stretchy, Yeah, the little curly cue. That usually has one key on it. Yeah. Are you saying your but girlfriend has probably, one key? <laughs> probably. Actually, she probably only has two keys on her whole key ring, but everything else is keychains. and. Oh, so she likes to show her pride. Yeah. You know, that, that brings me to something else. I'm not a big bumper sticker fan. I hate bumper stickers. I am not. I hate bumper stickers. I don't want the world to know who I think I am based on what's on the back of my car. I think, yes. And I think they're always opinionated. I would say. Oh, of course. I mean, that's the whole point of a bumper sticker. I just, I just, plus it, it's not good for paint, so that's my thing. Oh, Don't really? put that's stickers true. on paint. <laughs> Bruins the trade-in value of cars. <laughs> All right. Duly noted. <laughs> no. I, I'm always amazed, though. You can you always drive up behind people with bumper stickers on cars, and you can really, if they're really into bumper stickers, tell exactly who that person is. You yes. know, in other facets of their life. Mm-hmm. Just because they were dumb enough to put certain bumper stickers <laughs> in their cars, you know? Yeah, I am um, not a... I mean, from every every use of them, I just don't like. I really just don't. Yeah, and I always want to respond. I, I do, too. You know, like, I, I wish... I want to just honk and be like, I don't know. All right, I wish I had, like, a bumper sticker I could change the text on any given time. So, like, when, you... I, when I pass the guy who says my schnauzer is smarter than your honor student... I could say my bumper sticker is wittier than yours. <laughs> you know, I mean, because yeah. hey, that was funny they the first time someone did it. They do have little LCD screens that you can put in your back of a window yeah. for ads and things, but that would be probably not cost effective. I really feel like they wouldn't understand it either. They wouldn't appreciate Maybe it. Maybe like a whiteboard, but then you would have to get out and do it real quick. <laughs> like like, like a, a car races? Like magnetic whiteboard? Yeah. The old car races where they had to wipe off what lap you were on? Yeah. Or like the, the sil- silver ones we have, just don't get anything printed on it. The whites. There you go. The, white the magnets. The magnets. There you go. Might right be now. a little bit inconvenient to uh, change the message. Yeah. But definitely not a bumper sticker guy. No. You know, I uh, I, I, I do like you know certain bumper stickers. I like sort of. Now, when I was in high, keep an eye out for them. High school, I would put stickers all over the back of my car, like it was a scrapbook. I would almost do. But yeah, I've got I've got some stickers uh, in my office that I've been putting on, on uh, the, the area desk. behind yep. where I sit, just because I sort of appreciate the concept of a logo and and but the it's, art but it takes to make it. That's a brand. That's not a right. Not a not message. Really, it's not a yeah, exactly. No, but here goes a guy. This is sort of a, my classic bumper sticker uh, rage here. If you will. <laughs> He's got a bumper sticker that says organic. A bumper sticker that says NOLS, which is the National Outdoor Something School Living School. Uh-huh. Anyway, it's a Outward Bound type thing. Obviously very earthy in, in what he does, but he's driving an expedition. <laughs> That's not new. No. It no, is not it's new. probably not terribly fuel efficient. No. Um, no. And I don't I don't mind him driving an expedition. Obviously drive what you want, but to me that just says I'm a little hypocritical. Yes. A little bit of a hypocrite. I really anybody who who I care about the environment when I have to buy a three dollar sticker, but not when I have to buy a thirty thousand dollar new car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I could see that. I could see that. You know, I'll support it to an extent. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people know me and know that I'm not a huge fan of political correctness. Um, and so and true. it's one of those things too where people who are really political politically correct again in their bumper stickers oftentimes then don't 
take into account the rest of, of their life. I mean, I ride my bike to work once a week or so just because it's so. good episode, exercise so. and I love it. Um, <laughs> it sits on a horse so. What is your... <laughs> I go once a quarter. You do? No, you. Me? Yes. I've ridden once my bike a... to work three times in the last three weeks. False. What do you mean? I rode my bike to work yesterday. Yeah. So just because you rode it to so, yet yesterday. I can't ride my bike in November when the temperature is five oh, below. It's I'll just not going to happen. Okay, then I want to see you do it all summer to make up for all the weeks. You're my not gonna goal is 500 world. miles between March and October. Good. That's my goal. And, and I've reached it the last two back? summers. Five miles? Uh, 18. But mm-hmm. March has just sort of started, so. It's kind of ending. March Actually. is just sort of ending. <laughs> so that's not March really is... fair. We can't count that. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm saying is I like to give dirty looks to people who drive Priuses and have stickers on their car about about how important it is to save fuel and use alternative energy, Mm -hmm. but they don't really care that they're burning fuel right at that point. No. Especially on the highway. Yeah. Or or sitting at a stoplight with their air conditioning on in 90 degree weather. Yes. Which is what I love about Ford because they have the blends because, I mean, a few years ago, everybody was hybrid this, hybrid that. Which is great, awesome. You know, when you're around this city, you don't consume any fuel. It's great. Ford has that. Mm-hmm. They also engineered all of the the new engine with the, the new EcoBoost, which is great. Um, nat- naturally aspirated engine that they then tur- turbocharge or twin tur- turbocharge. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of power, not a lot, lot of fuel. A use. lot of power, not a lot of fuel use, and. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of the best of both worlds. I mean, you can get either or, really. It just depends on the use that you prefer and the car that you want to have it in. Well, now we've got the electric Focus coming. Yeah, the electric a, Focus. A plug-in coming. electric car. Mm-hmm. We have a plug for that. It's very exciting. It is. It's got installed before the car was even here, so that's kind of cool. I had someone ask me for a plug outside the other day, and I directed them to that plug, and they gave me a dirty look. I don't... I, yeah. They may have the same outcome that... I had with the Christmas light fiasco. <laughs> Remind us bit. to tell you that story at some point. <laughs> Maybe next Mark Christmas. Kind of blew up a light post. Yeah, I kind of, lights didn't come on for a night. I didn't know why. Then yeah, we found I did. The hard way. <laughs> and it did not smell good. No, electrical fires are not are not cool. I hate those kinds of texts from you. Hey, Greg. <laughs> you want to wave at Greg? Hi, Greg. Still looking for his keys. <laughs> he never found them. I him. found a wallet yesterday. You I was did. riding my you bike to work yesterday. Wallet. Riding my bike to work, like you found I said, a I wallet do. Wallet and some. I found a wallet <laughs> strewn. I mean, this wallet was yay thick, and one of the pockets had been decimated. I mean, run over multiple times, so. which was a probably because it was overstuffed in the first place. Well, probably because it was hit by a car a couple of times. <laughs> That's also. True. And I had to. I'm walking around in the middle of the street picking up these cards thinking man I hope people don't think this is mine because I felt like a fool running into the middle of the street and then running back out of the middle of the street and running back <laughs> in the middle of the street so we're back here we're going to try this uh, auto park feature just because it's fun and we can so and I'll make sure to hold the brake yeah time. you press the brake Mark's pushing the button so here so you'll press the button and drive by the spot that you want space oh. found stop no keep going for a little more yeah. there we go it found a spot behind the two cars we have set up which we could have found. That was that's pretty easy since it's not actually a spot. Do so you think they're gonna see the wheel? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, wheel spinning right now. Mark's got his hands in the air. We're moving. No, no, I don't know why I have my break. hands in the air. Put on the brake. Uh, not like I can slow. You go slow. <laughs> you go slow. That's my car. The backup sensors. There's a camera. We're watching the camera. You know, we're not ignoring you. We're just watching the camera. Pulling forward a little bit. It's adjusting the steering wheel, and we're done. And we're done. So no that's parts. the auto park ending of our Ford Flex Drive. Yep. You just have to use the brake. Make sure you use your brakes. Yep. Thanks for joining us.